Hi there, I'm Chris Berman. Here we go on ESPN. Set to go with week two of the NFL on ESPN. Hi everyone, I'm Chris Berman. Week one certainly had a chair of surprises. Will week two continue in that vein? Or will things start to even out a bit? We'll see. we get an excellent early season matchup for you here. Steelers, Saints. It's go time. We'll see. Still fans making their way through the turnstiles. They'll be just in time to catch the start of this game. Hello, folks. I'm Dan Stevens welcoming you to the Louisiana Superdome. And with me in the booth, as always, my cohort and friend, Peter O'Keefe. Peter, I was looking at the team rosters, and both teams have explosive return men on their squad. Well, that's true, Dan, and if they can produce as they're capable of, this could be a high-scoring game. Jerome Payton is a superb player. He's just an all-around talent and a supreme competitor. And a guy like that can get it done in so many ways. On the other side of the ball, we've got another top performer. Antoine Randall-L is a superb player. He possesses a great blend of skills and abilities, and that well-roundedness is what makes him such an effective player. Okay, Peter, we'll see how they do once the game begins, but first, the toss of the coin. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Reed kicks it, and we are underway. Smith catches it back at the one. Locked down at the 25. Lamar Smith was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. The Saints offense takes the field, and they will start at their own 25-yard line. No good, incomplete. Jerome Payton looked like he had a solid catch there, and yet somehow he found a way to drop it. Potential for a quick first down, but no, they cannot hook up the pass. You can take a shot in that situation, and it's really not going to hurt you. That's a good call. That'll bring up second down. Takes his first carry of the game and moves forward for seven. Deuce McAllister took advantage of some really good blocking there on that last run. When you get the initial surge like that, good things happen, especially in the ground game. A great job to move the ball and get themselves into a third and short situation. This is a critical play for this drive. Yeah, now Dan, they can just fall forward and make the play. Sounds easy, Peter, but we'll see if they can pull it off. Gash picks up about two, and that will bring up fourth down. Yeah, bro, Rowe punt, lines baby. up to punt after the three and out. Rowe gets the snap and punts it away. Townsend fields the punt at the 24. Tackled at the 26. For Shea Townsend didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Steelers send their offense out on the field and will start this drive at their own 26-yard line. Staley gets the toss and gets past the line. Bang down at the 30. Second down with a split backfield. Ward goes in motion. Rodgers tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Derek Rodgers was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They don't let that play get back to the line of scrimmage, and that will bring up third down. Him way back. 
back at the 24-yard line. Fourth down coming up. Will Smith forced the offense back a few yards with a terrific sack in the backfield back there. Another good stop by the defense, and that will be two losses in a row. Gardaki lines up for the punt. Gardaki gets the ball and punts it away. Thomas takes it at the 32. Tackled at the 45. Fred Thomas racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Saints stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 45-yard line. Horn catches this one, and that will be good for a gain of eight. Aaron Brooks lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but the throw was on target. What a pass. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Brooks throws a heater right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Boo Williams had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That would have gotten the first, but it's incomplete, and it will be third down. Scott makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Chad Scott got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That was a fantastic job by the defense to stop what would have been a first down. I love to see Big D on third and short situations. Fourth down, defenses love to hear that from the refs. Rowe gets the snap and punts it away. Townsend fields the punt at the 14. Tackled at the 18. Deshae Townsend didn't get very far running that ball back, but on the bright side, the kick was pretty lackluster, so his offense gets pretty good field position anyway. The Steelers will start this drive at their own 18-yard line. Burris goes in motion. Bailey has his number called on first down and picks up a couple. Roethlisberger fires this one over the middle and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Plaxico Burris easily overcomes the double coverage to nab the football. Perfect synchronization by the quarterback and the receiver. Way to get open. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. And bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that, and they go to nickel. Staley picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Deuce Staley powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking. Problem was, they couldn't keep that push going for very long. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get down the door. Smith tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Will Smith targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. That's his second tackle so far. They get the first on third and long. Heinz Ward had a man playing him close back there, but he made a great move to get the catch. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. First down, three wideouts in the game. Lothless throws a beauty to the right side, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. Ben Roethlisberger threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. Randall L. goes in motion. Moore pulls down the floater out left, and he's got the first down and a whole lot more. 
Ben Roethlisberger. Made a nice throw there. Got it right past the defender. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. Roethlisberger throws a bullet to the flat, and the reception's made at the 10. He's in for the touchdown. Plaxico Burris made the catch without any challenge from the defense, and he took advantage of it. That's his first touchdown of the day. And, and I think he's a guy you can count on to make those yeah, end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and, and he usually meets it. Here's the point after, and it's good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Reed booms a beauty here. Pathon decides to take it out of the end zone. Stopped at the 17. Jerome Pathon decided not to down it, but couldn't even make it to the 20, which may affect his Christmas gift from his special teams coach. The Saints offense has taken the field and they have been having a very tough time passing the ball. They have another opportunity here as they start off at their own 17 yard line. Nice and it falls incomplete. Boo Williams had that one come right to him back there. You have to catch those passes, baby. That's his second drop, and he cannot be happy with that. Sometimes the ball bounces your way, and sometimes it, uh, it doesn't. Exactly. Second down, 10 yards to go. And the call on second down, and gains about three yards. Eventually slides down at the 36. It will be first down. Aaron Brooks decided at the last moment to scramble back there, and it worked out. Zips it to the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Kendrell Bell came in and got a hand on that football. And left no chance for a reception there. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That like will that? bring up no. second down. Second down, empty backfield. I got two open. I got two open. catches it over the middle. The 48. Newman slam dance with the ball carrier, neatly separated him from the football back there. Way to force the fumble. Peter, there are many ways you can start a drive, but uh, a turnover is not one of them. No, definitely. Coach Haslett is not happy with that call, and he's going to challenge it. Hey, we want to challenge. Whoa, Whoa. challenging the player in possession prior to the fumble. This is their right, first challenge of the game, and okay. even if they lose right. this one, they still have one challenge left. Well, Dan, we've got to see if the receiver established possession before he lost the ball. Remember, he has to have full control of it. That looks like a catch and then a fumble to me, Dan. I'm agreeing with the original After call. The, play the play stands. stands. The, receiver the receiver did, did have, have possession. possession. It is, it is therefore ruled a fumble. fumble. New, New Orleans, Orleans will be charged, charged with timeout. timeout. First, First down, down Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. That will cost them a timeout, and you have to believe that he is not very happy with that call. Yeah. Let's do it. Nice. The Steelers' offense takes the field, and they have been very effective through the air. We'll see what happens as they start this drive at their 48-yard line. 
Daly will get the carry on first down and gets the first and more. Eventually runs out of bounds at the 30. First down. Deuce Staley made a huge gain and sailed past the markers before getting out of bounds. That's a big time play. Nice run, Peter, and he's putting together some very nice stats. Definitely. Up to now, he's got 28 yards on six carries. Staley gets the call again and gains about three yards. Second down and four wideouts in the game. Staley carries it for the third time in the row and maybe picks up one on the play. Deuce Staley stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. a play on this and forces the incompletion. That will bring up fourth down. Jason Kraft came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. It seemed like the defense read that one from the beginning and they forced the incompletion with relative ease. Beautiful call by the D coordinator. It'll be fourth down. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. Squeezes it inside the right goal post. Jeff Reed kicked that one so wide it almost hit the upright, but luckily the kick was good. Jeff Reed kicking on the Steelers. There's the signal, and we're ready. Reed booms a beauty here. Payton downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Saints All fumbled day, the ball Brooks. away last time. Let's see if they can hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. McAllister gets the toss and runs into traffic. Haggins tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Clark Haggins not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. And this is nothing but read and react, Peter, which is what all defenders are taught. Great concentration to nab one shifty runner, stepping up and doing his job. Horn didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Joe Horn found a spot in the middle on that last play, but couldn't connect with the ball. No catch. That would have set up a very manageable third and short play, Peter, but they couldn't sync up on that one. That's a tough break. Third down, one man back. Here's McAllister. Looked like he was all over that one, but it just got away somehow. Tough incompletion. He couldn't hold on to that one, and maybe that's why they don't throw to him that often. No, he's more of a runner than a target out of the backfield. Lowe lines up deep in his own territory to punt it away. Lowe gets the ball and punts it away. Townsend gets it at the 41. Tackled hard at the 46. The Shea Townsend didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Steelers' offense takes the field, and they are already halfway there. They'll start at their 46-yard line. Ward goes in motion. Lothlisberg throws a bullet, and the ball's loose. Touchdown at the 47. Orlando Ruff slam dance with the ball carrier. Neatly separated him from the football back there. Way to force the fumble. Peter, he gets his first forced fumble of the day, and it seemed to me that he's looking for that. Coach Cower doesn't agree with the call, and we're going to see the red flag. Hey, we want a challenge. Pittsburgh is challenging one of the player in possession prior to the fumble. This is their right, first challenge of the game, and okay. even if they lose right. this one, they still have one challenge left. Well, Dan, we've got to see if the receiver established possession before he lost the ball. Remember, he has to have full control of it. 
Well, it doesn't look like he had possession, Dan. I call it an incompletion and overturn it. Second down. He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. Second down with three receivers to the left. Staley goes in motion. Ward makes the catch out to the left, and they get the first on third and long. Hines Ward made a fantastic catch in double coverage. Keep getting him the ball, guys. Fantastic catch, and he is putting up great numbers. Got that right, Dan. He's now got 54 yards on three catches. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Steelers enjoying the lead 10 to nothing. about seven and that brings up second down second down just a single receiver on the field Kreider goes in motion Staley punches this one left of center and picks up the first down Deuce Staley played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Staley picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. No easy yards, Randall. Staley gets the handoff and searches for a hole. Brought down at the 19. Third down, coming up on the 10th play of the drive. Roethlisberger passes a high, long one, and it's caught for the score. Hines Ward had a defender close by, but was able to bring down the catch. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. Now the point after, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Reed kicks this one away. Smith fields the kickoff at the one. Bang down at the 23. Lamar Smith received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Saints are fading fast and are in need of a score. Their offense will start this vital drive at their own 23-yard line. McAllister catches it in the flat, and he picks up nine. 
Deuce McAllister was able to keep the play alive because of a nice move after the catch back there. A nice run after the catch, and that's what they expect from him. Heck, that's his job description. You won't see him running a post route, but you will see him make plays off those shorter catches. McAllister has his number call on second down and barely picks up the first down. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Joe Horn went to the outside on that last play, had some room but couldn't make the catch incomplete. The incompletions keep piling up, and even here in the second quarter, it doesn't seem to be improving. Not at all. They're just not getting it together. The timing, the routes, the protection, nothing. Second down with the tight end right. Brooks puts his arm into this one, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. Joe Horn was really getting crowded out there with three defenders, but he still made the catch. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Payton catches the bullet out left and gets past the markers for a first down. Jerome Payton plays man to man to man to man with three defenders, still makes the catch. What a player. takes it across the line and maybe picks up one on the play. Deuce McAllister didn't get very far on that last play, and he even had the help of some blocking. Kind of guess the defense had their number. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take it. You can get there, but they were Gains three yards, and that brings up third down. Brooks uncorks this to the left sideline and it's intercepted. Runs out at the 28. Dan, that was a beauty of an interception. Perfect read and jump on the ball. Boy, that was a heads up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Steelers have yet another shot at scoring and are in command. Their offense takes the field and starts this drive at their own 28-yard line. Bellamy tips it away on the coverage, incomplete. Illegal forward pass, number seven, Ben Roethlisberger was past the line of scrimmage on that play, which made the pass irrelevant. That was an illegal forward pass. Second down, 15 yards to go. Roethlisberger sinks it to the left sideline, and the reception's made at the 36, hunted down at the 38. Ben Roethlisberger laid this pass in beautifully, rendering the defense irrelevant. When you can make accurate throws like that, the whole field starts to open up for you. What a pass, and he is generating some great numbers. Well, absolutely, Dan. So far, he's got 133 yards and two touchdowns. Kreider goes in motion. Staley takes it for his 14th carry, and he gets taken down well short of the markers. Fourth down coming up. Fred Thomas came in like a pack of wolves, cornering him in the backfield and then taking him down for a big loss. That's his second tackle so far. Kardaki gets ready to punt this away. Kardaki takes the long snap and punts it away. Back down at the 37. Fred Thomas racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The 
Saints were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at the 37-yard line. Horn didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Chad Scott put the brakes on that play without any help. Man, he had that zone locked down. Potential for some nice yards, but the defense plays it tough. That will bring up second down. Payton goes in motion. Brooks zings it to the right side, and it's off, incomplete. How you like that, Joe? They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Rowe lines up to punt after the three and out. Rowe takes the snap and punts it away. Townsend gets it at the 22. Tackled at the 33. The Shea Townsend racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Steelers stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their 33-yard line. Ward didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Hines Ward ran a short out pattern on that last play, but he couldn't make the connection. Incomplete pass. A rare incompletion. And the defense side, a sigh of relief. But it's only the second quarter, Dan. The D has to hang tough. Ward goes in motion. Stanley picks up about two, and that will bring up third down. Third down from the shotgun. short of the markers. It'll be fourth down. Jason Kraft brought down the ball carrier before the markers. There was some game there, but not enough for the first. The defense didn't budge on that play, and they force a fourth down. Kardaki lines up for the punt. Kardaki takes the snap and punts it away. Thomas heals the punt at the 20. Tackled at the 28. Fred Thomas racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Saints need to score here before half to have a chance later. They'll start at their own 28-yard line. Thorough grabs the right side and is well past the markers for a first down. Aaron Brooks dissected the double coverage with a pass that was prettier than a stadium full of cheerleaders. And I'll tell you what, he made that precision route look easy. Too easy almost. I'll tell you what, Dan, the D couldn't even hang with him there. First down, three wideouts in the game. Brooks unloads this one to the left, and it's caught at the 34, and he's in for the touchdown. Jerome Payton made the catch back there, but then worked for a few extra yards on top of that. Great effort. He'll get the touchdown, and he does it in style. Beautiful play. <laughs> 
Here's the extra point, and the extra point it's is good. good. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Carney kicks it off. Robertson fields it all the way back at the five. Stopped at the 25. Robertson tried to run it out, but the defense preferred that he stayed put, and they made their case pretty forcefully there. The Steelers come out on offense and are well ahead. They have yet another shot to score and start this drive at their own 25-yard line. Burris goes in motion. Staley takes it off the cross and takes it upfield. Brought down at the 34. Deuce Staley played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Staley gets the call on second down and maybe picks up one on the play. Deuce Staley used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there, but they'll get another shot on third and short. Staley loses two, and that brings up fourth down. Orlando Ruff targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got seven tackles. Kardaki lines up to punt after the three and out. Kardaki takes the long snap and punts it away. Thomas sees it at the 24. Tackled at the 33. Fred Thomas racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Saints can climb back into it with a score before half here. They will start this drive at their 33-yard line. a play on this and forces the incompletion. Chad Scott came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice aggressive D. Second down, two receivers to the left. Brooks rifles it out left side and it's tipped. Incomplete. Chad Scott came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. He records yet another batted ball, and I'll tell you, he's really playing well out there. Yeah, he's been after the ball from the beginning <laughs> of the game. Real aggressive play. Townsend hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Chad Scott closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. Well, the knee holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Rowe gets the snap and punts it away. Back down at the 26. The Shea Townsend didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Steelers come out on the field, and they're looking to extend their lead before halftime. They'll start at their own 26-yard line. Ward goes in motion. Staley gets the call on first down and will lose about a yard here. 
Cedric Hodge was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring up second down. Second down to the right ends in the game. Rips him down in the backfield, and the clock continues to run. Jason Kraft was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That will be two losses in a row. Great reads by the D on the last two plays, Dan. Ward grabs the fastball over the middle, and they get the first on third and long. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Steelers enjoying the lead, 17 to seven. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? The ref gets the signal and we're set. Carney kicks it off to begin the second half. Randall L. heals the second half kickoff at the one. Brought down at the 19. Let's go down to Susie Culber, who has an update for us. Susie? Thanks, Dan. Head coach Bill Cower told me at halftime that he's very proud of his team. They moved the ball well, and they scored a touchdown every time they got into the red zone, which he said is a testament to their determination. We'll see whether they can continue their momentum in the second half. Back to you, fellas. Thanks, Susie. The Steelers will start this first play of the drive at their own 19-yard line. Burris catches it in the flat and picks up four on the play. Plaxico Burris had a defender close by but was able to bring down the catch. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Burris goes in motion. Roethlisberger unloads this to the right sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Derek Rogers swatted that one away cleanly. The receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Oh, let's watch this. Five wide out versus a D that is wisely loaded up on DBs. <laughs> It's intercepted. Tackled at the 33. Jay Bellamy knew exactly where the ball was going on that last play. Thanks to some great single zone coverage. His positioning got him the interception. Boy, that was a heads up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Saints are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at the 33 yard line. McAllister gains five on the play, and that will bring up second down. Horn goes in motion. Gash cruises out to the left side and picks up a couple. All right, what have you got? Okay, all right. Let's make the stand here, baby. There's no fuel left in their tank. They go back. They go back. Brooks throws a bullet to the flat, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Dante Stallworth had some room on the fringes there, but couldn't reel in the pass. Another short pass and another incompletion. That area is not yielding results for them. Yeah, time to look elsewhere. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Carney with the 43-yard attempt, and it's good. Todd Bauman stayed cool and adjusted nicely to the high snap, setting it up perfectly for the field goal kick. There's the signal, and we're ready. Carney kicks this one away. Randall L. fields the kickoff at the two. Stop at the 24. 
Antoine Randall got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Steelers offense takes the field and they will start out at their own 24 yard line. Stanley takes this one way out left and rambles for about five. Number 30 with the tackle. Second down, five yards to go. Staley gets the call again and heads left. Brought down at the 34. It will be first down. Deuce Staley can thank his blockers for that last play. If it wasn't for them, that play would have tanked. Nice second down call, and they will move the chain. On offense, it was always a plus to avoid third down altogether, just like that. Smith backs this one at the line of scrimmage, incomplete. Kenny Smith swatted that pass away right at the line. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Roethlisberger <laughs> throws this on a rope, and it's knocked down at the line incomplete. Jonathan Sullivan moved quickly to bat the ball away. You know, for a guy who can eat two hams in one sitting, he's got killer reflexes. That is their fourth batted ball. I tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Fuller puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Jay Bellamy closed in from the zone and forced the incompletion. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Gardaki gets the ball and punts it away. Thomas fields it at the 28. Dragged down at the 32. Fred Thomas didn't have much room to work with back there. The special team squad made sure he couldn't respond to that really nice punt. The Saints will start this drive at their 32-yard line. Conwell goes in motion. McAllister catches it in the flat, and he picks up nine. Bruce McAllister ran out of bounds there, well short of where he wanted to go. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. McAllister takes the handoff and heads out right. Tackled at the 46. First down. as well past the markers for a first down. Jerome Payton doesn't let a little thing like double coverage stop him from snagging the football. That's another medium range catch for him. He's really found his niche in there. Yeah, and unless he starts getting shut down, there's no reason for him to move out of it. Brooks fires this one over the middle and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. Number two, offense. Aaron Brooks was past the line of scrimmage on that play. Coach Haslett is not happy with that call, and he's going to challenge it. Hey, we want to challenge. This is their second challenge and last challenge of the game, so even if something more critical comes up, they are out of luck. When we watch this, Dan, let's see if he was past the line when he threw the ball. Watch as he releases the ball. Well, he looks behind the line to me, so I think they'll overturn and this one. The play has been ruled a complete pass. pass. The passer, the passer threw, threw the ball behind the line, line, line of scrimmage. New Orleans, New Orleans will not be charged. charged. Time, time out. First, First down. down. 
He likes the call, and you sort of have a feeling that he knew it all along. First down, two wideouts on the field. Brooks zips it to the left sideline, and this one is incomplete. Up about two, and that will bring up third down. Brooks throws a heater right sideline, and it's intercepted. No one in front of him. Chad Scott can't go wrong on this play. A key interception, and he took it back for a touchdown. Man, this team is going wild. Well, that's their second interception of the game, and uh, Stingy is appearing to be the motto for their defense. Yeah, either that or give me the ball. Three to attempt the extra point. Chris Gardner holding. Now the extra point, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Reed rockets this one deep. Payton downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Saints had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 20-yard line. Intercepted. Tackled at the 30. Santos timed his jump perfectly on that last play to pick off the pass. Peter, you couldn't ask for more from him today. He has done his part. And then some. So far, he's got two interceptions. The Steelers have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at the 30-yard line. Burris goes in motion. Roethlisberger rifles it out left side and it's intercepted. Stop at the 33. Curtis Fuller took the football back for a little gain after he picked it off. He was hoping for more, but, you know, he'll take it. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Saints have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their 33-yard line. Brought down at the 36. It looks like, uh, yeah, we've had an injury down on the field. As soon as we hear anything, we'll be sure to pass the information along to you. You all right? You all right? Check this out. You see this right here? You all right? Feel this? All right. That hurts. Right there, right there. Oh, it's gonna be all right, man. You're gonna be all right. Let me help him up. Come on. You gotta get. Come on. I need you. You gotta get back to us. You gonna? Let's go. We're gonna be all right to play. Watch the pass. Second and six. Watch the throw. Watch the throw. Second. Thirty-six yards. Rip it. Rip it. Single back. Single back. Valdez throws a bullet to the flat, and it is not reeled in. Incomplete. Chad Scott shadowed the slant route back there and kept the receiver from making the catch. 
incomplete pass. That play would have set up a manageable third and short. But instead, they forced the incompletion. That's how the D is supposed to play. Third down, one man down. Newman makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. Newman knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. Another batted ball, and they have been attacking the pass every chance they get. That's right, Dan. You know, why simply defend the pass when you can obliterate it? Rowe lines up to punt after the three and out. <laughs> Rowe takes the long snap and punts it away. Townsend fields the punt at the 23. Tackled at the 29. Deshae Townsend got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Steelers haven't got much out of their offense recently, and we'll see if they can get back on track here. This drive begins at their own 29-yard line. Ward goes in motion. Thomas hammers the receiver and forces him to drop the ball incomplete. Second down from the on. Staley will get the carry on second down and rambles for about five. This is the series here, baby. We got to stop it. they get the first on third and long. Ben Roethlisberger lived dangerously on that play with a pass into double coverage, but the throw was on target. What a pass. That's another pass that went pretty much down the middle. He hasn't been working the sides too much. Well, he's obviously very confident to be throwing into where all the traffic is. He's daring the D to stop him. Roethlisberger throws this on a rope, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. First down from the shotgun. Staley carries it for the 24th time and will end up losing a bunch here. Orlando Ruff was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. He's been working hard so far. That's his eighth tackle. And each one of those eight left a bruise. That guy can hit. Ward goes in motion. in behind the line of scrimmage. Derek Rogers not only cleaned the ball carrier's clock in the backfield, but buffed and polished it, too. Big hit for a loss. He now has five tackles in the game. first on third and long. Hines Ward made a fantastic catch in double coverage. Keep getting in the ball, guys. That's the second long ball he's reeled in today. One long ball is plenty, but two is something to be stoked about. First down, goal to go. Staley gains three yards, and that brings up second down. Brooks was shaken up earlier, and I, I hear Susie Culber has a report for us. Susie? Thank you, Dan. I got in touch with the team doctor, and apparently he's got a hairline fracture in his finger. They're finishing taping him, and it appears that he should be ready to come back very soon. Back to you, guys. As always, we'll hope for the best up here in the booth. Thank you, Susie. Ward goes in motion. No good. Incomplete. Jason Kraft was with the receiver all the way back there on that deep corner route and interrupted the pass. Incomplete. On second down, they that try for the win. first, no but it's played run. well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Grant gets the sack at the five. That will bring up fourth and goal. 
Charles Grant got through with ease and brought the quarterback down back there. Good, clean sack. That'll be his first sack of the game. Reed with a 22-yarder and it's up through the goal post. Good. Jeff Reed knocked in an easy short one for three points. You can tell he didn't doubt for a second that he'd made that. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field Jeff goal Reed. to show for it. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Reed kicks this one away. Payton fields it all the way back at the three. Drag down at the 24. Jerome Payton received that nice kick and a nice little run back after the catch. Good job. The Saints offense takes the field and they will start at their own 24-yard line. Gash gains five on the play and that brings up second down. Second down, Second both down. wide outs to the right. Horn goes in motion. <laughs> Valdez zings it to the right side and it's intercepted. Valdez got his pass stolen. I tell you what, Dan, the pressure is what pushed him into rushing that pass. That's the first time he's been picked off today, and by the look on his face, well, he knows he should not have thrown that one. That is one unhappy man down there. The Steelers start this drive in great field position at the 35-yard line. Staley will get the carry on first down and gains about three hey yards. He's covered this before. You know the plan. You know what to do. Stick to the plan. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Steelers in command of this one, 27 to 10. Ball away from three defenders in his area. That's got to feel good. The balls are coming his way in the middle, and he's making them pay. You have to like his performance so far. Well, Dan, I like any receiver who's willing to go over the middle and sacrifice the body to make the catch. Burris goes in motion. Wheels in the football, and that's good for six. Ben Roethlisberger threw the pass into double coverage but gets his man perfectly. Hey, that was one accurate throw. They move the ball, and it will be second down. Second and third. Goes right up the middle and barely picks up the first down. And touchdown! Deuce Staley put his money where his mouth was on that last play. He led a charge for some big time yards. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 78 yards and one.